Because one of the main blessings and benefits of fasting is outbreak of light. Yes. Let your light break forth tonight that will empower your people to walk in dominion over sickness and disease. Yeah. And over all circumstances of life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for routing coronavirus from the earth. Yeah. Thank you for stopping its way forward. Yeah. Thank you for the rescue of the human race. Yeah. Take all the praise. In Jesus precious name. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Give Jesus a big hand and get seated please. Walking in dominion. Over sickness and disease. Is a teaching series. Of our midweek services. This month. Our anchor scripture is. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8 to 10. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and not and after the remains of the world and not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him who is the head of all principality and powers. So no principality or power can resist your completeness. Because the one who made you and made complete is head of all principality and powers. It means you have nothing to fear about the wicked oppositions of, my, of hell. I am their head. <laughs> I am their head. You remember, it's made him to be head of all things to the church. Head of all things. And has put all things under his feet. Principalities, powers, dominion, might, and every name that is named. That's the list we had in verse 21. He had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. We are complete. Don't let any devil deceive you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of this world, and not after Christ. Surely he has borne our griefs. That's what the prophetic word concerning him said. And has carried our sorrows. The word griefs from the original Greek text means sicknesses and sorrow means pains. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. So by the act of crucifixion and resurrection, we are ordained to be sickness, to live a sickness and pain-free life. A sickness and pain-free life. Peter was referencing that. He said, by whose stripes you were healed. First Peter 2, 24. Price fully pay. It is now our legal right to carry the goods of the supermarket. Somebody has paid. They can't challenge you. Why should this man pay for you? Anybody can pay for you in the supermarket. Anybody can pay for you in the shopping mall. Anybody can. The cashier had no right. The coach has no right. How can this man pay for you? Who are you? Are you his relation? What? <laughs> the moment the money is paid, it is paid. 
it becomes your legal right to go home with the goods. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus fully paid the price for your total health and my total health. It is now our legal right to carry it. Let no man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of this world, and not after Christ. Beware. Whatever we don't fear cannot befall us. We are victims of our fears. The things that I greatly fear has come upon me. And that what for which I was afraid is come unto me. One vital root cause of sickness and disease is the spirit of fear. It makes us vulnerable to the destroyer. When fear came upon Job, then went Satan and smote Job with boys from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Fear opened the door to the tormentor. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boys from the sole of his feet unto the crown of his head. Boys all over. You say, what's Satan doing with boys? His name is called the wicked. Whatever makes you uncomfortable, whatever makes life unbearable, that's his mission. And then calamities upon calamities by reason of fear. Fear torment, fear afflict, fear destroys. We must engage relevant spiritual forces to overcome fear. We must engage relevant spiritual forces to overcome fear. We all know that the dominion of light over darkness is instant and unquestionable. For the light shineth in darkness, and darkness couldn't stand this way. John 1 5. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. John 9 5. Therefore, walk while you have the night, the light, lest darkness overcome you. John 12, 35. Nothing dispels fear like light. Arise, shine, because your light is come. The glory of the Lord is upon thee. For the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord in spite of the darkness, shall arise upon thee, and glory shall be sent upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to your light, and they are kings to the brightness of your rising. It will separate you from the darkness of the world. You become a light bearer. And the entrance of his word, it gives light. Psalm 119 verse 130. 
and it gives understanding to the simple. So spiritual understanding is the surest cure for fear. Fear operates in the realm of darkness. Nobody fears what he can see. The reason you fear masquerade is that you can't see the man there. Amen. They put a piece of wood down and somebody is speaking from inside the bush. They say it's the thing that's speaking. <laughs> then you start running. You want to know the weakness of fear, become a light bearer. Mm -hmm. Darkness will always clear the way for light. Anywhere. The ultimate of the power of hell is darkness. He said, this is your hour. And the power of darkness. Luke 22 verse 53. I remember the dark places of the earth. They are full of the habitations of cruelty. Have respect to the covenant of God. For the dark places of the earth, they are full of the habitations of cruelty. So cruelty operates in the realm of darkness. Wickedness manifests in the realm of darkness. In Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 he said those who do wickedly against the covenant shall be corrupt with flatteries but the people that do know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Fear will lose its grip of them by reason of the light that they are walking in. Fear will lose grip of them by reason of the light they are walking in. You can't live a victorious life with fear. You can't live a successful life with fear. You can't command breakthroughs with fear. Fear is a robber. The Bible calls the devil the thief. And he steals through fear. He stole the children of Job destroy them, destroy this business. Just, just God had mercy on me that I didn't destroy his soul. That's the thief for you. That's his mission. He scares you to rob you. He subjects you to fear so he can plague you. But he sent his word and he healed them. And the word delivered them out of all their destructions. Psalm 107 verse 20. In John chapter 6, 17 to 19, the people came to him to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they were healed everywhere. Hearing is gateway to healing. Spiritual understanding is gateway to dominion over sickness and disease. Isn't this just some religious doctrines? Is it how real it is? Years ago I was reading the book of Kennedy again on seven keys to divine healing. It's my God ordained teacher of faith and I've hooked on to him since 1976. But this time I was reading this book and I, something broke out. Himself took my infirmity. Light broke through. When he took the place of Barabbas in death, Barabbas went home rejoicing, celebrating, and to a party. Jesus took my place in sickness. The same day he took the place of Barabbas in death. So I'm redeemed to live a sickness-free life because he took, took
took. He wasn't coming to take in case you forget. He already took. I scream, yeah! I can never be sick. Somebody already paid the price for me to live a sickness-free and pain-free life. Thank God. It's 40 years plus. The world is working. That's the power of light over darkness. Okay, baby, it's lucky. Now, many years ago, the doctor said, your blood pressure is high. I said, not me. He said, look, I said, not necessary. I'm not saying I don't. I said, I cannot. Can you test me possibly for pregnancy and then I'm worried? As a man, I must have lost my mind. I said, I cannot. He said, I don't. I don't. I cannot have. Now, it went back straight to her. I never, never knew the name of any high blood pressure medication in my life. Did I take one? It went back there to her where it came by the power of light. He himself took. Then you say you see. Then you must be blind. He took. This is not make believe stop. Many are walking in dominion over sickness and disease today. In the body of Christ across the nations of the earth. Many, many, many. By reason of the light at work in them. By reason of the light at work in them. I therefore decree an end to the torment of the spirit of fear Amen. on your life. Amen. Because the price for you and me to live a super healthy life has been fully paid. First Corinthians 6.20 He said, Ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. I read a book, um, Face Off with a Miracle by Bob Mumford, in 1983, February 14. And I saw the testimony of a woman that was in her laundry. She was on wheelchair. And she didn't know when she stood up the wheelchair. Reading that book, light broken. And she was rinsing some clothes. And look, at, wheelchair is behind. Ooh! She was fixed on the wheelchair. The power of light. Yes. Stood out. February 14, 1983, I won't forget. And the Lord said to me, the words that I've committed into your mouth, the word I put into your mouth, the same commit into writing and I will cause the same unction upon the spoken word, upon the written word, bringing about the same effect. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She stood up. 1986, a man was reading the book Keys to Divine Health. He was going through treatment for high blood pressure and hypertension. The daughter was a doctor in that hospital where she he was admitted. He got to pay 20 according to him. He discovered that the devil is not a gentleman. What belongs to you will not just walk to you. You take it by force. He told the doctors, yeah, I'm going home. They said, no, you can't go. I said, I'm going home. Uh, is it by force? Yeah, 1986. I met him in 1996. No trace of high blood pressure or hypertension in an old man's life. He showed the letter why the crowd was going up and down. When I saw that letter, I read the paper, I said, you should let him come. And she told her, he told the story. Jesus took it off him by the power of light. Hallelujah. And he was in that liberty till 1996 that I saw him last. The power of light. We had a testimony here recently of a woman um, that um, had stroke, diabetes, hypertension, partial blindness. What? They gathered him a book, The Force of Freedom, that I wrote. He looked at the book, read the book. In the night, Jesus showed up. 
with a flaming sword. And people were going in and just like going into the oven to die. And Jesus said, lose her and let her go. She got up out of that dream, jumped up. That was the end of stroke. The end of diabetes. All in one sweep. By the power of light. The power of light. The power of light. He just got the word and the word set him free. All at the same time. I met a woman in Uganda in one of our meetings. And she had me teach on the surgical power of the word of God. Who opened up Adam? God. Who took the reef from him? God. Who closed the place? God. Who formed the woman? God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I'm the Lord I chain now. I said this night expect the master soldier. Now they carried her in. She was like a specimen. She couldn't move. She was involved in it. And not to crash. Everybody there died. It was the only one that survived. But all the ribs were broken. So they packaged her like just an exhibit. In the night, the master surgeon showed up. By the power of light that she received. And began to massage her upper area. Could move. No pain. No strain. Jesus showed up. I did that same teaching in London years ago and this lady had a challenge on her waist. Every treatment has proved abortive. But in the night, the master surgeon came in. I began to pull strands out of her system. Yellowish like spaghetti. Hmm? And he said, what time is it? 5.30. Then she opened her eyes and it was 5.30 exactly. Lose forever. It is the light you receive that defines your experience in life. The light you receive. Now, many tonight will be visited by the master sojourn. He put Adam to sleep. Anastasia. And then opened him up. And his word is sharper than two-edged sword. Is able to pierce through the bones and the marrows and divide the asunder of the spirit and of the joints and marrow. That is, every part of the body is penetrable. <laughs> By heaven's carpet, it opens you up, closes you up, and you don't need recovery moment. You are just jumping up. Just jumping up. That's the power of light. It allays all fears. Amen. It allays all fears. Somebody said they heard me that saying that God's word is surgical. He received it and something took place. Somebody's changing level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, the good news tonight is the fact that the price for your total health has been fully paid. You now take it by the force of light. The force of light. You take it by the force of light. By the force of light. But to work a dominion over sickness and disease, one must continue to think healthy thoughts. Healthy thoughts. For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Romans 12, verse 2. 
And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So until our mind is renewed, our lives cannot be transformed. We have to renew our minds with the word of God. Think what the word says about you, about your head status, your state of health. Think the verdict of heaven as contained in scriptures. Keep your heart with the thoughts of the world for out of it are the issues of life. He said, my son, attend to my words. Give ear to my sins and let them not depart from your mouth. From your eyes, keep them in the midst of thy heart for they shall be life to them that find it and health to all their flesh. Therefore, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Now, you can't think what you have not found. You have to be filled with the knowledge of God to think it. It's very important. The information at your disposal is what determines your thought pattern. That's what determines your thought pattern. We must continue to think healthy thoughts, meditating on the truth concerning every, every, any subject area, and then say your profiting will appear to all. It begins with attend to his word, which we have done. Amen. Amen. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, and to doctrine. Verse 15. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself holy to them that thy prophet may appear to all. To walk in dominion over sickness and disease, we must be loaded with healing truth. Amen. Number two. To walk in dominion over sickness and disease, we must continue to speak healthy words. Healthy words. For life and death are in the power of the tongue. Healthy words. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Healthy words. What man is he that loveth good and that you may see many days Psalm 34 verse 12 what man is he that desired life and loved many days that he may see good he said keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking slangs oh I'm finished I, I said I'm finished Actually, I'm dead. <laughs> Agents don't know jokes. Whatever you declare, they are under commandment to deliver. He says, suffer not your mouth to cause your flesh to sin. Neither say that before an angel it was an error. For why should God be angry with you and destroy the work of thy hand? So what you say today is what you see tomorrow. Are the, are the angels not ministering spirits sent for to minister to those who shall be heirs of salvation? So they're on duty. And they pick your words as their assignment. So whatever you declare, they're under obligation to deliver. I'm going to say, ah, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. I can't help it. No, let me see my mind. The pain is all over me. I'm not a dogma. Uh, you think I believe everything is the same, church? I must tell them what is wrong with me. I say, I say I'm sick. They say, don't say so. Uh, so. So what should I say? That I'm well? When I know that I'm sick? And, uh, the devil says, say more. Say more. Your angels are waiting to deliver. Say more. Say more. 
let him that is weak say I am strong so he won't die in his weakness Joel chapter 3 verse 10 because what your father says he creates and you are created in his likeness so what you say is what you create I'm not where you have created not been well the whole of my body is quaking. Ah, that's body quake, not earthquake. I've never slept for three weeks on a row. Ah, and as you say it, you create it. He so said, "You shall have whatsoever you say. You shall have whatsoever you say." Whatsoever you say concerning your health, whatsoever you say concerning your family, whatsoever you say concerning your business or career, you shall have whatsoever you say. Caution. I give to you a mouth and wisdom that none of your adversaries can resist nor gain say. So what to say is what to have, not what your enemy says. What to say is what to have, not what demons say. What to say is what to have. You want to walk in dominion? Speak healthy words. Speak your covenant healthy words. Speak your benefit of health, total health and redemption. Speak it always. Speak it all the time. And then you find yourself work and in dominion. The good news is the end has come this time to every form of struggle over your head. Amen. The end has come this time to every form of struggle over your head. The end has come. Mm. Last year, one of our daughters came in and then uh, wanted to check my blood pressure. He said, it's, it's like that of a 20-year-old. Yet, I would have bought it from them a long time. Every time you hear of a diagnosis, is the devil knocking. Are you interested in this package? You open the door, it comes in. It comes in. Well, the good news is, not one member of your household we be afflicted by any virus, Amen. including coronavirus. Amen. Now, sickness and disease will not be mentioned in your household anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is what it takes. But the bottom line is, access to light destroys the hold of fear. Access to light provokes your faith. No one ever doubts what he sees. And you take the sheet of faith, you quench all the fear, the dust of the devil. Fill your heart with the world. And then thinking the world becomes, nature, becomes natural. Fill your heart with the world. And speaking the world will become natural. Everything goes back to the world. And you remember, he upholds all things by the word of his power. All things. How many things? All, all things. All things. All things by the word of his power. Spiritual things. Physical things like your healing, your health and wholeness. He oppose all things by the word of his power. And my people are only destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are going to captivity and they start suffering because they have no knowledge. An end has come. The devil will not take you for a ride anymore. The devil will not take you for a ride anymore. And the hold of fear on the nations is tonight destroyed. Amen. The hold of fear on the nations of the earth is hereby destroyed. Amen. The hold of nations is hereby destroyed. Amen. Hear this prophetic sound tonight. Coronavirus is dead. Amen. Its root is rotten. Amen. It shall bear no more fruit. Amen. It shall bear no more fruit. Amen. It shall bear no more fruit. Amen. And your life is free tonight. From every torment and torture of sickness and disease. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your right hand. 
and give God thanks, everybody. We do thank God for your dominion over sickness and disease. Thank God for your dominion over the spirit of fear. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Now, just before we administer the communion tonight, you are connected to this service anywhere in the world and you are not sure of your salvation yet. That is the covenant number one step in to enjoy the benefits of the kingdom of God. Except a man is born again, he cannot see. And because you cannot get from, you cannot see, he cannot assess anything that the kingdom of God offers. But whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And he overcomes by faith. So wherever you are tonight, you like me to pray with you to be saved. Or you want to dedicate your life to Jesus. I'd like to do that in a moment. Therefore, everyone in that kind of situation, everyone that desires to become a member of the household of God and be free from the harassments of the powers of wickedness on earth, the, the powers of darkness on earth, please raise your right hand and I'll pray with you wherever you are. And pray this simple prayer of faith after me, everybody. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me on the third day. You rose again that I may be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm not a child of God. And I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. And I will serve you all through my days. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me back to the faith. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, be blessed in the name of Jesus. May today mark that turning point you have been looking for all your life. Amen. May the peace of God that attests our new birth begin to manifest in your life. Amen. May the joy of heaven begin to ooze forth in your life. Amen. The grace that brought you to Christ tonight will keep you for life. Amen. You will make this journey to the end. Amen. You will make heaven at the end of your journey. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Give the Lord a big hand. Amen. Please send us your testimony. Salvation is the greatest of all testimonies. Send us your testimonies. We'll glorify God with you and we'd love to be part of your joy in this new journey. Amen. Amen. Now there shall be diverse healings tonight. Yes. Diverse deliverances tonight. Yes. And many shall be visited in their sleep tonight. Amen. Everyone under the sound of my voice around the nations of the earth, your dominion over sickness and disease is settled tonight. Yeah. Rise to your feet. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John, they took knowledge of them that they had been with Christ. Amen. And when we take the communion, we are empowered to live like him. So whatever Jesus will not fear, you won't fear. Amen. Whatever can send Jesus to hiding, won't send you to hiding. Amen. Whatever demon cannot oppress Jesus, afflict him, buffet him, cannot afflict you anymore. As you partake of this communion tonight, and I like everybody everywhere, please make sure you get some drink, including water, and some little biscuit if you have. Amen. Amen. 
And as I proclaim this, the flesh and the blood of Jesus, so is whatever you have where you are. As they were eating, Jesus took the cup. They didn't, they didn't go to buy a special one. He took the bread. As they were eating, Matthew 26, 26 to 28. As they were eating, as they were eating, he took the cup. He took the bread. He blessed and said, this is my body. This is my blood. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So whatever you have by your side now, as I declare this as the flesh and the blood of Jesus, so it applies to what you have. Amen. And don't forget that testimony. That family that had bone marrow cancer were out in India awaiting bone marrow transfer, transplant. They spent an average of 200,000 naira every week. The devil was feasting on their resources. But they took the communion with Fanta and Biscuit. He took the communion on Sunday, joined us online, and Jesus got rid of bone marrow cancer. Because the word of God is quick and powerful. <laughs> Amen. It can get through to any part of the body at any time. It's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and it's a designer of the thoughts yes, of the heart. Yes. Yes. Nothing is faster than the word you receive. Because the word is light. Yes. And the word talks about the speed of light. Mm -hmm. It runs swiftly at the speed of light. So it went to India straight yes. from Canaan land. No visa. Yes. The word went straight. Yes. No short than order. Yes. You can't short than the word. Oh. It, it went straight. Oh. No. It went straight. Man. Went straight. Somebody joined us here in fit washing service and had full blown blood cancer. The world went straight from here to Atlanta. Straight. No booking of flight. Straight. No, there is no seat on the flight. The world went straight. You can't block. They got the door shut. Jesus entered. Yes. He said, did he open the door? No. The door opened on his own. <laughs> he can go through the wall. He can go through anything. So wherever you are in the world, get excited. Yes, this communion will deliver instant result yes. in your life. Amen. Therefore, I declare this table tonight set across the nations of the world as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. As you take it, eternal life is transmitted. Amen. Eternal life is renewed. Amen. And you begin to live like Jesus. Amen. Spiritual and body. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. This is the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Take and live Amen. like him. All the days of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's done. Amen. I decree instant diverse healings tonight. Amen. Every terminal disease is terminated tonight. Amen. Everyone afflicted by the scourge of coronavirus is liberated tonight. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. I command soap destroyed. Amen. Every blood disease, diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, gone in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I command every pain and ache and discomfort disappear in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. Expect your instant turnaround right now. Yeah. And I decree tonight as a night of visitation yes. by the master soldier. Yes. The master soldier is visiting you. Yes. With his very sharp scalpel. Every part of your body that needs attention shall be attended to. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified.
In Jesus' name, Amen. it is done. Please go ahead. <laughs>